Hello and welcome. This is Raheem Zulfiqar Ali from Excel Basement Private Limited. In this video tutorial, we will learn that how to create a multi-level Sankey chart in Microsoft Power BI. So I have picked a website that is uh, World's Billionaires List from Forbes, and it uh, it has a data the richest in 2020. So you can see the visualization as well and here we have the data the complete list of uh, more than 2000 billionaires in 2020 but we will pick first 200 uh, for the data and then we will filter that and we will see top 10 or top 20 according to the country wise source wise and industry wise so for that definitely we need to import the data from web in power bi uh, we have already a visual that is called sand key but that is not too uh, but that is not multi-level so whenever we create a sand key chart it's not a multi-level and for that we will be applying a dax technique uh, to resolve this issue uh, because the requirement is that we need to have three fields on our sand key chart that is country will be the source and target will be the industry and then in the second level the industry will be the source and the target will be the this uh, organizations or companies listed here so we need a multi-level sign key chart so first we will learn that how to get the data and then how to apply the DAX and then we will apply this multi-level sign key all right to get the sign key visual, uh, it is required that you should log in from your official work email ID and after that you have to click on more visuals and click on from app source. You can see uh, a, a dialog window of Power BI visuals here. So in the search bar I will write sign key and you can find here this chart is available so I will click on add button now this visual will be added here in the visualizations you can see here right so this is sand key 3.0.3 .3. now what we are required is to get data from the that website right so I will just copy this link I will go to power bi so get data from web and paste the URL here press OK okay so now from this navigator window we are required to select the right table so I will click on table 1 So here is the preview as we saw all these columns on the website as well right um, the ranks names of those billionaires their amounts country they belong to organization and then the domains right and these are columns which are not required uh, we will clean that in power query so this is basically an information we have or we want to extract from the this website particular website right so let's go to transform data instead of loading because we have to do some transformation with the data as well so I will click on transform data we are in the power query editor and uh, here we will define um, all the names of the column correctly and we will remove other columns okay so we are not required these columns so I will just select these columns and right click remove columns again column 7 is also not required column 8 is of age so double click on the header 
rename this header as age column 4 is of country 5 is the organization this is domain or you can give it another name like industries let's give it, give a name industries column is net worth in billions right and we need to remove this b inside from this column and dollar sign as well so i will go to transform click on replace values and value to find space b replace with null okay and also need to replace the dollars now this is uh, this column is as uh, text right so instead of text we will convert that as a whole number okay the second column is names and the first column is of ranks so now we have prepared the data according to our requirement whatever columns we were required so once we are finished with the transformation we will go to home tab and click on close and apply so let me click on send key this visual will be drawn this canvas right all right so when you put this visual so here from the from this fields menu you have source destination right these are the two fields remember that and we will create this and we will uh, apply this kind of a logic in dax to make a multi-level send key so the one field will go in the source the other field will go in the destination and then the weight which can be sales or amounts or any other thing which has a numbers okay and we don't have uh, like multi-level available here so for example let me just rename this table so i will double click on this table one and give it a nice name for example send key okay all right so now let me drag the country in the source and uh, industries in the destination or you can say a target and I will put the net worth into the weight all right so now you can see that this is uh, basically uh, from the source till the destination how uh, the, the visualization has been created and giving us a visual storytelling right according to the net worth but there is no other field I can just drag and drop to the destination or source so there is no multi-level and for that we we are learning that how to utilize DAX uh, to get that desired solution because I need to after this uh, industries I need to see organization wise as well okay and we need to click on modeling tab and here you will find a new table button so click on that and I will start writing the DAX here there, there will be a DAX like union summarize select columns okay so I will put it in a neat and nice way so I will be using every new line for a new DAX so you have to press shift enter to get a new line within this uh, formula bar so I will start with union bracket open again a new line shift enter summarize 
bracket open, shift enter, select columns and first we need to define a table name which is sankey comma name one so we are creating a column name as source so we will enclose in quotes okay source comma now in that particular column which column we need to call from that sankey table that will be sankey country so country will be the source and then the target or the destination will be the column industries okay and close the bracket comma shift enter again for a new line now i will call whatever i have created like in this particular dax select columns as a source and target i will call these variables source a new line target new line and we will add two calculations here um, let's say give it a name occurs and the calculation will be or expression will be count count of from table sankey and that will be your net worth so adding another calculation that is for the net worth net worth dollars in billions and here we will be using some function sum of sankey net worth column and then bracket close and a new line again one more bracket close comma and then now i will start copy and paste another logic for the next level because we need to create a multi level for the sankey so for the next level i will just start copying from summarize and copy the entire this dax control c shift enter to add a new line and then in in the second uh, multi level uh, we need to change the source now this time the source will be uh, the industries and the target or the destination will be the organization column all right so now we are done with our with our code that is dax right and i will paste this uh, dax in the video description as well so now we have a table uh, table you can see a name of table here and uh, source target there are two columns right and then occurs for the count and another calculation for the sum right there we have created two calculations now at this time we will again insert a send key on our canvas and now you can see that the source field will go in the source here and the target will be go in the destination and for the weight net worth will be in the weight field and now you can see easily that uh, we have created successfully created the multi level send key chart in microsoft power bi with the help of dax